Crank no start refers to a situation where the engine cranks or turns over when the key is turned in the ignition, but the engine does not actually start and run. In other words, the starter motor is working and the engine is turning, but it does not fire up and run on its own. When an engine cranks but doesn't start, it indicates that there is an issue preventing the combustion process from occurring. There are several potential reasons for this problem. Here are some common causes. Number 1. Fuel-related issues, a malfunctioning fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter, or an issue with the fuel pressure regulator. Insufficient fuel pressure can also prevent the engine from starting. Prior to delving deeper into the problem, it's a good to make sure you have adequate fuel in the tank. Fuel injector malfunction is also a problem, if the fuel injectors are clogged or not delivering the correct amount of fuel, the engine might not start. Number 2. Ignition system problems, failed ignition coil, a faulty ignition coil can prevent the spark plugs from generating the necessary spark to ignite the fuel-air mixture. Defective spark plugs or wires, worn out spark plugs or damaged spark plug wires can result in a weak or absent spark, causing the engine not to start. Ignition switch failure, a malfunctioning ignition switch may prevent power from reaching the ignition system, resulting in a no-start condition. Number 3. Engine mechanical issues, timing belt failure, if the timing belt breaks or slips, the engine's valves and pistons can become out of sync, leading to a no-start situation, low compression, insufficient compression in the cylinders can occur due to various reasons, such as a blown head gasket or damaged piston rings. Low compression will prevent the engine from starting. Number 4. Electrical faults, battery problems, a weak or dead battery can prevent the engine from cranking with sufficient power. Check the battery charge and connections, faulty sensors, malfunctioning sensors, such as the crankshaft position sensor or camshaft position sensor, can disrupt the engine's timing and prevent it from starting. Number 5. Air intake and exhaust issues, clogged air filter. A heavily clogged air filter can restrict the airflow into the engine, leading to difficulties in starting. Exhaust system blockage, a blocked or restricted exhaust system can prevent the engine from expelling exhaust gases properly, causing starting problems. Number 6. Security system or immobilizer. If your vehicle is equipped with an anti-theft system or immobilizer, a malfunction in this system can prevent the engine from starting. Check if the security light is flashing or if there is any indication of an immobilizer issue. Number 7. Faulty Engine Control Module ECM, the ECM, also known as the engine computer, plays a crucial role in managing various engine functions. If the ECM malfunctions or fails, it can disrupt the proper operation of the engine and prevent it from starting. Number 8. Wet or damaged electrical components, moisture, or water ingress into critical electrical components, such as the ignition system or ECM, can cause starting problems. Similarly, damaged wiring or electrical connections can lead to intermittent or no-start conditions. Number 9. Faulty fuel pump relay or ignition switch, the fuel pump relay controls the operation of the fuel pump, and a faulty relay can prevent fuel delivery to the engine. Similarly, a malfunctioning ignition switch may disrupt the power supply to critical components, resulting in a no-start situation. Number 10. Faulty Crankshaft Position Sensor, CKP, the crankshaft position sensor detects the rotational speed and position of the crankshaft. If the sensor fails or becomes faulty, the ECM may not receive the necessary information to synchronize the fuel injection and ignition timing, resulting in a no-start condition. Number 11. Failed Camshaft Position Sensor, CMP, the camshaft position sensor monitors the position of the camshaft and helps determine the precise timing of the fuel injection and ignition. A malfunctioning CMP sensor can disrupt the timing, causing the engine not to start. Number 12. Anti-lock braking system, ABS, or traction control system faults, in some cases, a malfunctioning ABS or traction control system can interfere with the engine's starting process. 
This can happen if the systems are connected to the engine control system or if there is a fault that affects the overall operation of the vehicle. Number 13. Overheating. If the engine has overheated significantly, it can result in severe damage to the internal components, such as the cylinder head or engine block. This damage can lead to compression loss or other mechanical issues that prevent the engine from starting. Number 14. Immobilizer system issues. Some vehicles are equipped with an immobilizer system that requires a specific key or security code to start the engine. If there is a problem with the immobilizer system, such as a faulty key or a malfunctioning immobilizer module, the engine may not start. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please like it and leave a comment. If you are new to the channel, please click the subscribe button.